Hello everybody, I'd like to make a new screencast video and talk about the passing and bubble bias and uh, possible rationale that is behind this bias which is very strong when uh, the data has a low precision. Uh, part of this work is available, actually complete work is available on GitHub. So I have a blog on GitHub, you can uh, visit it. Uh, this uh, script is available uh, as gist script on GitHub, so you can run it by yourself. And uh, this is actually a suggested reading. This is my article in 2021 where I described already this um, phenomena of uh, of bias uh, in this case it was chapter 2.6 of the article where I just uh, reported this um, very bad uh, effect uh, on uh, passing and bubblock uh, methods so let's start we have two functions here at the beginning. Uh, we have pair slopes, uh, which is a function which calculates all the possible pairwise slopes uh, for every pair of points, which is interesting because then uh, we will uh, make a determination of the offset of the slopes. And this is the data generating function, which is always the same since three years. So I just added here this variable to to set in manually in the, the pre precision of the data. And now we start with uh, four uh, digit pr precision and a data set of 100 pairs. So uh, I said I use a set seed so you can reproduce it. And this is the data set. As you see, this is a typical data set where we have a first digit and then three position after the comma, which are defined. and. Uh, Actually, it's not very common in laboratory to have such a high preci precision, but uh, this is actually wh where we start from. And now uh, I am going to use uh, MCR Pioda package instead of the plain MCR because uh, we will later use also the MDEBing regression. So uh, basically, you can do all this first part uh, of the experiment also with the MCR plain package without Pioda because the function here Paba is exactly the same it's a, it, uh, it's a fork and uh, I just added a couple of function to the fork uh, to the fork package so I, I load the package which is available on CRAN and uh, let's do the first regression this is first regression with four digit precision then I, I just make the rounding here so I, I take the same data and I round it down to two digit precision and you see it's the same data as before but just rounded we can watch it like this you see and then we perform again uh, passing bubble regression and we plot the result and as you see the result is quite different despite the fact that the data is just only rounded. The rounding is also a little bit visible because there is a more order here in this picture and several points that have slightly different values here are just aligned like for example these three points and these three points but basically it's, it's the same data set. But you see there is a quite slight difference in slope and uh, the, the biggest difference actually is in the confidence interval uh, more than in the slope but you see we have two cents of difference on the slope and uh, two cents of difference on the upper confidence interval in this case is it get reduced and uh, what we will see it does is that uh, we will in general have a reduction of, of both of uh, the upper confidence interval but also of, of the main value and I will explain why we will see a reduction. Now to see it it's necessary to find out the so-called offset for the passing and bubble regression uh, and if you go back to the paper of uh, 1983 uh, you will see that uh, in the procedure of, of finding out the slope for passing by block uh, 
uh, we first make all the possible um, pair of points and we calculate the slope from them and then there is an offset uh, this, uh, this means that you have to uh, move the position of the median exactly by the this kind uh, this quantity of units so uh, the amount of values that are lower uh, slopes that are lower than ma minus one is a kind of offset that moves completely the the center of, of the median determination and to do that uh, I just use the script above and this uh, generates all the slopes and you see I get uh, actually for uh, 4950 uh, and among the 1000 are printed but if we count how many are lower than minus one slope we have 134 slopes and indeed if we watch this table we see that at 134 exactly we have minus one and then it starts to be larger number so it's it's really that and if we do this the very same but on the round data so we calculate the slopes and then uh, the offset you see that there is a striking difference in this in the in the office offset which is smaller and this is probably the reason why the slopes uh, in general uh, with passing bar block if the data is rounded uh, is just uh, estimated lower than what we would expect and this explains exactly what I described here uh, what was here uh, this experiment so I generate synthetic data with a very well-known slope and then I test how many times uh, this uh, sample uh, gets validated and uh, how many times it gets rejected so uh, this is actually a, a power test and as you see with uh, classical PABA we have a higher probability to validate at a slope which is something like 1.03 instead of 1 and this is in black this is the, the classical damming regression which uh, is pretty symmetric and gives no problem the classical PABA is terribly uh, shifted there is a bias and this happens with uh, two digit pre precision like uh, we have already seen in the script and actually with the uh, equivariant version which is a, a more modern uh, uh, PABA algorithm we also see that there is some asymmetry and there is a higher likelihood to validate it at higher slope than at lower so uh, it's not it's better but it's, it's not good uh, always with this low precision which is a very common uh, thing in uh, in laboratory so going back to the script and to this uh, thinking what we can do is just to uh, ask ourselves uh, what happens if you repeat this experiment many times so uh, I, I can just keep uh, 100 sample uh, 100 pairs for sample and uh, just uh, generate a vector for the difference this is the difference uh, I just uh, calculate first first this uh, value with uh, four uh, four digit rounding and then uh, I subtract the two digit rounding and we will take the difference and we will collect all these differences and I have done this little uh, loop here which repeats 100 times uh, the experiment first four digits then uh, we count how many uh, are in the uh, how much is, is this offset here and then we do this offset for the rounded data and then we take the difference and we will have a nice vector of differences so I set again set seed and now we have to wait probably one minute so I, I just execute the script and we wait a little bit <coughs> in the meantime I can just mention that this asymmetry is completely non-observed if we use other methods that I proposed, where, where are they? Um, 
Uh, yes, if for example we take M and MM damming, same experiment as with the PABA, you see the perfect uh, symmetry of M and MM regressions, which are robust methods, but which uh, do not suffer of this right side excess, which is very visible. Uh, where is that? On the passing bar block family. Now, uh, it's still running, but we have to wait a second. It will be ready. Uh, eh, now it's ready, and now we can plot these offset differences. And I do it in a creative way. I do a kernel density plot here and a box plot. Uh, you see the zero is right here, but the differences are not centered on zero. And to better highlight it, uh, I just take a box plot with notch. So we have a confidence interval for the median of what we expect as difference between the two offsets. And you see the this not it's not containing the zero. So uh, it's really so that uh, the offset is systematically lower if the data is rounded. And this could be the reason why uh, we see this shift toward higher slopes uh, for the passing bubble methods. And this is actually the fir very first take home message of this video. Uh, we can also check with a QQ plot about uh, the distribution of, of those differences, but uh, there is nothing surprising. The differences are very well distributed. Uh, we, we see some stairs here because there are rounded data, but basically uh, it's quite well following the normal model. But it, it's not centered at zero. That's, that's the main point. It's not centered at zero. Uh, if we repeat the regression, uh, but with M damming, what we see is I generate again with the same seed data because we uh, already I have overwritten it. But if we do uh, that a little bit quickly, we see that with M damming, four digits precision and two digits precision, same data just rounded. You see this alignment here. Uh, the slopes are almost identical, and also the intercept. And actually, if we watch at the coefficients, uh, we won't see that big difference like in the passing bubble method for both for the for the main value and for the confidence intervals. So there is no no big influence of the rounding on, on this method. And the very same happens also if you take a Bayesian approach. Uh, you can try my other package, which is Rastan BDP, which is a, a Bayesian Deming regression package. And we can run it in a robust mode, for example, with a five degree of freedom for, for the residuals. And this is the, for the four digit precision and for the, for the two digit precision, we can run them. It's a bit slower because we, can, we have to make a Bayesian sampling. It's very appropriated with small samples. Uh, the method is very nice on that. And <coughs> actually, we have this function which plots everything. Uh, we have slopes with uh, interval confidence, and we have also the pairs plotted here with um, with a Malanobis distance testing already here calculated and we do for th for the two digit experiment and as you see the differences are very minimal so there is practically no uh, no influence uh, from coming from the rounding if we use a bayesian method uh, but exactly the same can be told with a m damming but on the other side if you really insist on using passing in bar block you will run into serious problem. So uh, for this reason, uh, I would say that passing bar block is pretty much a, uh, a dead method. You should never use it anymore. Not, not at least not 
just thinking that uh, it's uh, just uh, a solving method for uh, for everything you really have to um, investigate and decide if uh, your data is appropriate to be used uh, to be analyzed with passing bubble uh, on the other side, uh, the damning variants are not so sensitive, so they can be used always. Uh, that was the point of this video. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, subscribe if you want, and uh, I will have 10 sub subscribers perhaps in 2028. 20, I don't know, but uh, I think this is a quite interesting experiment. Thank you.